the world seeks to dim the light of all that is good. When hate once again rears its ugly head. When peace and joy, at least for the moment, seem out of reach. In times like these, when I'm searching for the words, the right words to comfort and to cheer myself and others, I often find myself coming up short. But still, in need of a word, I embrace my humility. And I turn to the word of God. And my faith is renewed. My spirit is lifted. And my soul is strengthened. As it does for me, let the words of the 121st Psalm comfort and encourage us all. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which has made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. May we all be lifted and may our souls be strengthened by these words that have kept us before and now once again in times like these. Amen. Thank you, Jennifer. Councilman Corny, I haven't been to you before. <laughs> <laughs> Another public figure who is always speaking out for all people, whenever there's inequity, whenever there's injustice, is public advocate Tish James. Thank you so much. In times like this, I lean upon my faith. And God has always made us all strong and has always given us the courage to not be afraid, even in the darkest hour. And so at this point in time in our country, we seek his face and we rely upon our faith. And into this grace we stand. We rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, even rejoicing in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts and into our minds. And with God through our faith, may we find understanding love and hope and acceptance of each other 